Hello and welcome. Well, something happened recently that is a really bad thing. And that is that our government have decided to build a tunnel under Stonehenge. Now you may think, well, well that will be a good idea because it will take the, take the traffic out of sight. That is true. It would, but in order to do it, and it's a, a 1.8 kilometre tunnel planned, so that's just over a mile. But in order to do it, a vast area of history, of historical interest, is going to be destroyed. And it's quite telling that an organisation like UNESCO have strongly advised against doing it. And I just wonder why? Why is it going on? Why are they doing that then? Now let me show you a map of Salisbury Plain where Stonehenge is. And you can see all over, this is an old map, you can see all over there's like enclosures, stone circles, ancient monument, some this, 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 standing stones, tumulus, all kinds of things. Just the whole area is packed, literally packed with stuff. And about 15 years ago the, I, the law was going to change to actually protect some of that land. So what happened was the army then launched a programme of blowing up as much as they could before they weren't allowed to blow it up anymore. Which is also another vile act. But in the building of this tunnel, what it means is lots of stuff is going to be destroyed and just hidden forever, totally hidden forever. Now literally, uh, let me see, I've got to count backwards now. Five months ago, it was revealed that they'd done some geothermal surveys, or geosonar surveys, around Stonehenge, and they've discovered a circle of shafts that's about 1.2 miles in diameter, centred around Durrington walls and these shafts are 10 meters wide and 5 meters deep. Now this is just one area around Stonehenge. You know where this tunnel is going they, they haven't mapped it out it's never been allowed to be mapped out and I'm thinking well you know what with all the the stuff about the free festival and the travelers and solstice and all that I started to, to get to form the opinion that there was something more going on there and something they were trying to keep hidden or stop people from finding. And I wonder if there is an entrance to inner earth there or something like it. You know, it's no coincidence all these military bases are built where they are. You look at ones in America, they coincide with strange stuff. They coincide with stories that have come down from, you know, from history, uh, from the tribes and things. And I just wonder, is that what it's about? Is it about destroying something that would change how we view the world? Because it is the government doing it. The government doing something that Britain's famous for this place, you know, and the, so the argument for putting a road in a tunnel is great, but the destruction that doing that would cause 
is immeasurable that I could just, I'm speechless over it. So if you get the chance to, uh, you know, to voice your opinion, please do, because it's your history there. Because Stonehenge, they found evidence that Stonehenge was visited by peoples from all over the world. Or artifacts are there from all over the world that they've got no idea how they got there. And you will notice, of course, that this has been done in a period of lockdown while everyone's scrabbling about trying to keep the roofs over their heads or, you know, or whatever they're, they're doing. They're preoccupied with other things and all these things get slipped in. For example, I'm sure there's some kind of building regulation that's going to change or has changed or I don't, something, because the amount of building work that is going on around just, just in this valley from where you can see to just over the top of the hill there, it's incredible. Um, one, two, I can think of seven places. Here's an example of some of the building. That's going to be huge, whatever it is. <laughs> it's not a town over here. It, you know, it's not like there's, that's a vast percentage. You know, well, oh, look at that. Meanwhile, they're pissing in your tea, you know? Be aware. I'm glad I'm suspicious because it turns out that I wasn't wrong with all these things. <laughs> Sadly. Sadly, my instincts and everything that told me when I was a teenager, it's not, it's not wrong. So I hope that it never comes to pass. I've got some questions. We've been told recently a lot to listen to the scientists or listen to the science. But I think we can only really listen to independent scientists because all the others are obeying a master who pays them. Yeah, so it's led me to think about various things and questions like why is, why is a tiny floppy electronics salesman having the of a massive global health organization do his bidding uh, other questions are things like if we listen to science and they're that great why have they not explained rhesus negative in a in any way it's not explained. It's unknown why rhesus negative exists. Well, it's not really, is it? There is only one answer to that, if you think about it. What was the first thought you had? It's got to be, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not, I'm not putting ideas into your head. I, you know, I'd like to hear what people think, because I know what I think because <laughs> it's the only logical explanation, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, another thing, another question is uh, why do we have the months that we do? When, if we took a lunar calendar, every month would have 28 days with just one left over. 12 months of 28 days is 364. All we need is to pop a free day in that just isn't a day of any kind whatsoever. And there we go. Because it's all about control, isn't it? The time. You know, dates. You know, and the adjustment for time is another thing that messes us up. I mean, time doesn't exist really, does it? 
It's all tight, you know, it's just been con a convenient thing. Based on the movement of stars and planets and all of it, it's a wonder what there are people that say astrology doesn't make any sense when everything is gov that we do is governed by it. <laughs> you know? Like we've got a menstrual cycle of 28 days. And the tides. And yet people don't believe that we're influenced by the planets. It's what, what kind of... This is a, a lot of them are intelligent people too. It's almost like they believe the propaganda because if you go and look into it and you do, you know, star maps for points of things that have happened, you find some very interesting results, let me tell you. Uh, another question. Um, well, clocks going backwards and forwards. I mean, in, in Britain, people think if we leave it a British summertime, it'll all be better because they're lost in the control. They're lost in the brainwashing, but, oh, warm evenings, oh, warm evenings, oh, warm evenings, is the control and the brainwashing. But actually, if it was left like that, that would mean in the winter, when everyone is off to taking the kids to school or going to work, it will be an hour earlier than it is, relatively. So instead of it having time to warm up slightly, it means the ice is going to be even thicker, more slidey, and far colder. Uh, just some questions. I haven't got all the answers, but I know what I think. I haven't got all the answers, but I know what I think. So I've been trying to live my life. I don't live my life by times and days and dates. I don't, that's what I do. I decided I wasn't going to, I was going to do everything I could to not do what they want. You know, and it does involve a certain amount of uncomfortableness, you know. Now here's another thing. There are two types of people in the world. Well, actually there are three. But stick with me on this one. And this will surprise you. So I'll ignore the at the third. But out of all the people that wipe themselves with toilet paper, some st stay sat while they do it, and some people stand up. And what's weird about that is that the people who sit don't know that there are people who stand up. And the people who stand up don't know that people sit. It's true. <laughs> Did you just have a reaction then? Of course, the, the third people are those who wash themselves. Just some questions, like I said, just some questions. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ta-la.